and Security Administration, about 2 million people are flying every day in the U.S. 5 News reporter Jose Carranza is live at Northwest Arkansas National Airport. Jose, that number is way up compared to recent years. Traveling really dropped off because of COVID-19. And now TSA officials are saying that air travel is back to about pre-pandemic numbers in Arkansas. And those travelers include Arkansas families ready for their summer vacation. Makes me feel free. <laughs> Donald Kilker of Rogers is traveling to Seattle for his birthday. It's his first time flying to visit family since the start of the pandemic. Oh, they, they feel great that I'm coming. And they just, in fact, my son just called me on the phone, told me my plane was going to be late. Kilker is one of many people taken to the skies this year. The past um, six months or so since January, we have seen um, increases in travel month to month. So um, we definitely expect more travelers this summer and we're looking forward to that. Summer travel in Arkansas is at about 100% of where it was before the pandemic. As many people return to the skies, the Transportation Safety Administration has a few reminders. So be prepared for lines at airports, um, a little bit of a wait time at the checkpoint and um, we really want to emphasize that it's important for each traveler to be organized and arrive early. TSA also says to leave prohibited items behind the most commonly confiscated water bottles. People forget you know everybody has a bottle of water they have a soda or something like that. While flying comes with its own regulations and costs Joshua Upshaw says he's thankful for the chance to avoid traffic and also pain at the gas pump. Gas plays a large factor, a large role in my decision on whether or not to fly or to drive, um, particularly now that it's $4 a gallon. 